Okay, good everyone. This is King Danny. I want to share this with you. My parents forced me to get married to this girl. My mom insisted I would get married to her. My parents forced me to get married to this man. My dad, my mom, they insisted I must get married to him. You know, lots of us have been believing this explanation and I myself I was in similar shoes. See, I met a friend of mine of recent, I met on my platform and I asked him, are you in a relationship? He said he just left the relationship. And I was like, why? He said she left him, her parents forced her to, you know, get married to someone else or to be with someone else. And this is exactly what happened to me years ago. I was in a relationship where I felt I was, I was established and everything was going well years ago. And all of a sudden, one day she told me that um, her parents are putting pressure on her and she has to get married to this other guy. And I know how bad I felt considering the fact that then things were pretty hard for me and I was just coming up as a, you know, young man. Now, whether, you, whether you're a man or you're a woman, boy or girl, if anybody tells you they're leaving you because of their parents or because of pressure, don't listen to that pathetic lie. People, when they want to do something, they look for reasons. And when they don't want to do something, they look for excuses. If a man walks up to you and tells you, I'm leaving you because my mom, my parents, my dad, my family, they're telling me I should get married to this person, I shouldn't get married to someone else. If they're telling you that, ask or put yourself in your position or ask them that question. If the girl your parents are forcing you to marry, if she was mad, will you get married to her? If she was blind, will you get married to her? If she was deaf, she was in a wheelchair, she is handicapped, she's an imbecile, will you get married to her? A man will see a woman that is more better than you, that has more acts, more booze, and has every single thing, and instead of him to just admit it and own it, he will simply give you one excuse that his parents, in fact, people who do it more are women. You would so love a woman for a very long time, and whenever she sees someone who is better than you, she introduces this other person who is better than you to her family. Obviously, everybody wants a better thing. And they're not telling her, okay, this one is better. And now she doesn't know how to tell you that, see, I've seen someone who is better than you. She will simply tell you, my family is pressurizing me to get married to this other guy. And you start blaming the family when in reality it is her. If the guy was an imbecile, if he was in a wheelchair, if he was handicapped, if he was down, if he was in his sick bed, will she accept to leave you and get married to him? You know, I've gotten to look at where this thing happens often. And you get to see that it happens often when a human is a better person. We human beings, both man, woman, male, female, we don't like accepting our faults. If you ask anybody who just left a relationship, 90% of them will tell you, my partner was cheating on me. You hardly see somebody who will tell you, I was cheating on my partner, he or she caught me cheating, you know, and they broke up with me. No, they will always tell you how their ex was so bad, their ex was so horrible, they had were being cheated on, they will never tell you their faults. And that is simply because... People don't like putting the blames on themselves because they would always want to look good. So whenever somebody leaves you and tells you their family members want them to marry this other person, it's a lie. They are only trying to paint themselves to look good and push the blame from themselves to their family. So if you are once dating a man who later on is as though his family members are telling him he shouldn't marry you, he should marry that this other person, and he's now stupidly agreeing to what his parents are saying to get married to this other person after your sacrifices, my there if that person was handicapped on a wheelchair will he still accept no so he already has and he already wants to be with that one probably he has seen something